So if we can keep it like that, yeah. Right. Yeah. Here we are. Okay. Actually, I haven't been to any movie uh, other than my own and the other shorts in, in the same block, but uh, uh, I try to keep out of the cinema at the same time I am shooting because we are in, in the middle of shooting my next feature uh, play. And um, so <laughs> I don't want too many impressions right now. For me, uh, the most in inspiring things are, are, are watching existence and, and uh, creating situations out of existence. And not, I'm not very inspired by cinema, actually. I think that cinema has a problem that it's always repeating itself and makes the same structure and you just swap the main character for a girl, for a boy or, or so on. And, and so I think it's interesting to use uh, moving images in a different way. And for an example in Incident by a Bank, um, uh, the camera movement or, or that you feel that it's, it's a camera movement but uh, actually the, uh, the shot is uh, freezed all the time during the shooting. And then I made a camera movement in the editing. So we were shooting on a red cam, uh, which have a 4K re resolution. And when you do the 35 millimeter, mostly you only use two 2K of it. So uh, there are 2K resolution that you actually don't use. And um, I was interested to, to create the camera movement afterwards and uh, of course the photographer were uh, not very happy about this because it's the editor who sets the framing and he just push, pushed the button on the set so, um, so and this and this gives me uh, uh, a lot of opportunities because uh, there is a lot of clips in uh, Incident by a Bank. You, you see it as a real-time uh, real shot without clips, but when I go from one part of the, of the screen to the, to the other, I can go into another take. So there are four different takes that I'm using. And so, I mean, the way technique is developing, uh, uh, I think that, that that's the way we can show new perspectives on existence. Uh, since the camera is lighter, okay, then you can show the, the, the world in a different perspective than before. And the technique has always developed the, the expression. Uh, so I'm very interested in this. I mean, we have got money for all the films we have <laughs> trying to make, so, so I guess I'm lucky. But I believe as soon as they see that someone is very interested in what they are doing uh, and that you have reflected over why you are doing this and you can put the words in a way that they also get interested, then uh, it's not a big problem. <laughs> but, but I mean, this is the hard part, of course. I think the commissioners are interested in people that are passionate in a way. And, and I feel that I can be passionate when I'm dealing with uh, what I am interested in. So if I do something that I'm not interested in, I think it would be really, really hard to to make the films and get money to the films. But when I deal in what I'm interested in, then, then people see that you're passionate for something and then it's easier. Uh, actually, we did, uh, we did uh, Incident by a Bank uh, uh, without... We, we, we got the money afterwards. So and we did it together, a col collaboration with a theater in, in Göteborg that's called Backa Teater. And um, so... Uh, so uh, for the short, we don't, we don't even bother to go to the Film Institute before, uh, f uh, before after, after, after the shooting. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, I want, I want, what I think is also a problem with filmmaking is that if you get an ID here, it takes like five years until you are financed and can and do, do the movie. And, and if you think of all the energy that disappears on, the, on those years, and you, uh, and you might even have changed your mind. I mean, the, uh, maybe that you don't agree on yourself three years back. You have new thoughts and you're interested in new things. So for us, it's very important to uh, increase the, the period from I get an idea and to start making it. Uh, f uh, increase uh, in input to output should be shorter. And, uh, and so mm, in some cases we start shoot and, and we show the commissioners uh, some of the scenes and, and try to convince them in that way. I mean the reason that I want to make features is because features uh, gets the most attention. 
And I mean, if short films would get the most attention, of course, I would deal with shorts instead. So, so the reason that I deal with uh, feature films, which is a, a, a format that is more traditional, uh, um, is because it's where you can get the most attention. So, so it's it's a little bit sad that the, the shorts, in a way, get margin, marginalized. Uh, but I think here in, in Berlin and and. I, I feel very yeah, yeah, welcome, and I feel that um, uh, they're taking us seriously, and and so on. Uh, yeah. So, so it's not a problem. I mean, it, it feels like a nice festival, uh, and and I I never been to the Berlinale before, but so I like it a lot. And it's a little bit less uh, posh than uh, the other festivals. Uh, you know, yeah. I mean, uh, especially when you're from the same country, of course you socialize. Uh, but uh, actually, uh, it's not very often that you meet someone that you feel that you're really connected to. But we met uh, two, two men from uh, Britain uh, that works on a company called Third Films. Uh, and uh, his name is Duane, and he made great shorts, one called uh, Love Me or Leave Me Alone, and one called Field. And, I mean, we have started to colla collaborate, so it happens, but it wasn't on this festival, it was in Cannes. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I mean, when I, I was uh, screening my second uh, feature film, Involuntary, uh, which had its premiere in Cannes in 2008, we, we screened it in, in LA Film Festival, and uh, we had really good re reaction all over the world, actually, but when we came to LA Film Festival, we met this guy who works for uh, Palm Spring Pictures, and he was like, okay, we'll see you guys afterwards, this is going to be great. And he had a, like this big popcorn and a, a one liter Coke, and walked into the festival, uh, into the cinema. And afterwards he was like so confused that he was looking down the street, uh, down in, his, uh, in, the, in the ground, and didn't want to catch the eye of us. And, uh, and uh, the reactions in, in the US have been really bad on invol involuntary, uh, and, and they feel very, very confused when see it. So, so it's kind of funny. Yeah, I think it's good, of course. Uh, I, I really don't like uh, short movies when they have a little in the ending and then it's over. Uh, so, and uh, yeah, it's everything that widens the perspective of the expressions is good, I believe. I think that you moving images are creating uh, uh, creating um, such a strong um, thoughts that we start to behave after we have seen them. Uh, there's something that Robert Saviano, the author of Gomorrah, said. Um, he, he told in an interview that uh, half year after Pulp Fiction had its release in Italy, the young gangsters in, in Neapel started to shoot with their gun on the side uh, instead of shooting with it like this. And the consequences of this was that they, it was much harder to hit the other. Uh, so they were shooting, shooting, and a lot more bloody, and uh, the police got a mess cleaning up afterwards. So this, this is a very direct example of in which way uh, uh, moving images creates behavior. And, and so for me, if I look at incident by a bank, I thought I knew how a bank robbery would look like, uh, but when it suddenly happened on the other side of the street, uh, what I had in me was totally wrong, and this comes from Anglo-Saxon movies, of course. I've seen bank robberies for a hundred times in Anglo-Saxon movies, and, and, and uh, uh, they're always very efficient, and they move in, do the robber, and move out fast, and, and that the bank robbery we saw in, in Stockholm was like very impulsive, very confused, uh, they were going to the wrong entrance, and then they, yeah, and it was like, Every, every, everything and everybody who, how they acted didn't fit at all how I thought it would uh, look like. So th this is something that I'm very interested in in, in my own f uh, filmmaking. I want to make references that you can use. So if you have seen the scene, maybe okay, it looks a little bit like the film I saw. It looks like uh, so. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.